Hello and welcome back to my channel, Miami Star Tarot. I am doing a love reading for Pisces. This will be a love reading for the rest of September. I am using the Rider Waite Tarot, the Romance Angels Oracles, and the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle Cards to, I think, just supplement the reading with the tarot cards. I'm pulling a six card spread and an underlying energy and the two love oracles or romance oracles, okay? So I will start by shuffling the Island Time Wellness and see what comes out for my Pisces. Oh, that's gonna be it. Let's put those aside. We have the Chaser. Chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Now, I don't know if that's you or your loved one or your love interest, Pisces. Let's find out. I need one from my Romance Angels. Please give me a card for my Pisces from the Romance Angel. I need a message for Pisces. Message for Pisces. Just one card. Message for Pisces looks like I almost had three cards fall out. Message for Pisces. One card for Pisces. And this is a love reading. All right, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. All right, so Pisces, I think you need to start manifesting what you want out of love. And um, here we have uh, the Rider Weight. I will be giving these a few shuffles this way, and then I will take flyers. Okay, one more. So chasing love happening very soon. I'm having to manifest. Give me, I need six cards for Pisces. Now I, I am a really firm believer in manifestation, but I also feel like what's meant to be is meant to be. Um, I, I just, I don't know, like I have a, I can't say a love-hate relationship with manifestation, but I just feel like some things are meant to be and they will happen if they are. Um, if you, you know, concentrate and think a lot about the things that you want to come your way, <laughs> but they're not meant to come your way, it just, I, I feel that's when people kind of get discouraged. But then again, that goes to say that if it's gonna, if it's meant to be, it's gonna happen no matter what, if you, if you, you know, manifest it or not. But I feel you can give yourself lucky energy with manifestation. So I'm gonna have to say that's too many. So Pisces, I mean, I, I also think that this card uh, very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. I feel like if it was meant, like I said, it was meant for you, you can maybe make it happen quicker or just bring this person out of their shell if that's maybe what's keeping the connection from happening. All right, I need six cards for Pisces. I don't want to spend too much time shuffling because then I'll take the three. That'll do. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, that's always a good card to get when you're looking for love. <laughs> Pisces, I can tell you right now that if you have your heart set on somebody and you want something to happen between you guys, I feel like you are the only person standing in your way, okay? And the reason I say that is because you have the Ace of Wands and that means that you definitely have um, the love interest interested in you, okay? And with the uh, Eight of Swords, it's like you are standing in your own way or you are keeping things from happening with maybe things that you're doing that 
maybe you should consider not doing. So let me get three more cards for Pisces. Three more cards for Pisces. cards for Pisces. Now, if there's a question about whether this person's interested in you, absolutely, they are. There's no question about that, okay? But something is keeping them from bringing their message with that Page of Pentacles next to the Eight of Swords. So let's figure out what's going on. I need three more cards for Pisces, three more cards for Pisces, Preferably one at a time. Oops, got two. All right, I'm seeing the Knight of Swords, the Tower. Tower is not always a horrible thing, okay? Towers can also just be something coming you like bam, like, ooh, something coming to you like bam, and this is what you got. You got the Lovers and the Ace of Cups, which means love overflowing love. All right. So this one came out first. So you are going to get, I'm going to move these so that you can really see them. All right. So you are standing in your own way. That's absolutely true. That is the truth. Okay. So you have the chaser and very soon, and let's see what your underlying energy is. You have as the line, underlining energy, the pentacles, the knight of pentacles, okay? You also have the page of pentacles, okay? So a message. Somebody wants to tell you how they feel, okay? Or you want to tell them how you feel. Let's find out. Okay, so definitely someone's very interested in you, Pisces. You have the attention. You have their, their attention, okay? Something you're doing or maybe... I want to say that you need to back off just a little bit. There is something that, that is getting in the way, and it has something to do with how I think you're approaching the situation, okay? And I, I feel like you are, you're in your own way. Um, the Page of Pentacles is the beginning of, and it's not an ace, but, you know, there are also messages and beginnings, very immature type of energy, which doesn't mean about, doesn't have to be about the person, even though it could be. But in this situation, I think feelings are a little bit immature, okay? And it could be on their side. Most likely, it is their side, Pisces. Um, so you definitely have interest here. Um, little warning here that maybe things are not um, in a place where they're going to happen like immediately at this moment. But with this Knight of Swords, I feel that maybe, Pisces, you may be coming on strong somehow. Um, if you have just begun this relationship, maybe you are, you know, not, not to be rude, but maybe you're just being a little pushy in the relationship right now or trying to make it move faster than it needs to move or this person's comfortable. And I feel honestly that that is true based on the fact that you got the chaser okay maybe you're doing a little more chasing than this person's used to getting whether you're male or female does not matter but it looks to me like maybe you should allow this person to do a little bit of the pursuing themselves okay and it may be kind of like what they're wanting to do um so i would definitely maybe just back off just a little bit Maybe this person is not sure yet if they want to jump into a relationship and they're feeling like you're like, yes, 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 like gasping for it. And it just may be something that is it's kind of putting them back a little bit from this. Um, you do have the tower card and the tower card in this case, I feel that is not as bad as it could be in other cases, okay? So I'm getting more of a feeling with this tower card that this person has just turned your life upside down in a good way. And you are just very struck by your feelings for them. And I know that Pisces can be a very feely person, very dreamy. And I don't blame you because it looks like you're dealing with someone that is, you know, someone that has a lot to offer in a relationship. 
This person also seems to be very attractive. Now, whether they're physically very attractive or emotionally very attractive to you, um, I have a feeling it's a little bit of both. Okay, so it looks like they are just, just needing a little bit of space and maybe a little bit of time from you. Okay, I'm thinking this, it doesn't, I hate to throw signs out there, but I'm thinking it could possibly be an air sign that you are being very like, drawn to. And this person is usually operates a little bit opposite of the water where they're not as emotionally entangled in their feelings as you may be. So I, I feel like it just with this Knight of Swords that you're just, it could represent the, the sign, of course, the air sign, but it could also represent just that feeling of you're just coming on really strong. You're just rushing in and maybe kind of trying to push them to rush into something that they are not ready for. You're absolutely correct in the feeling that this person is just wowing you. You have the tower and I don't see this tower as being that your world's falling apart. It's more of an internal feeling that's taken you by complete surprise. Like, wow, like this person's amazing. I'm in love. I want a relationship. I'm going to pursue them. Don't. For now, my suggestion is to back off just a little bit and you will see that this person will have the opportunity to kind of go through their own feelings and come to the conclusion that they want you. Because Pisces, there is no doubt in my mind that they want you. You have the Ace of Cups here, okay? This also represents your emotions in, like, not in the relationship because you may not already be one. And if you are in one, it's in the beginning stages. But it's just your your emotions in the whole idea of being in this relationship. But it also represents their feelings to come, okay? And you did get the lover's card, so there is no doubt that you guys are headed down a path that will result in you becoming the lovers. If you are not in the relationship yet, if maybe you're just in the friendship stage, that's all the reason why I feel that you need to really pay attention to this Knight of Swords um, and your uh, Eight of Swords, which means you are, if, you're, if the relationship's not moving fast enough for you, it just may be that you, you maybe you're taking on an emotional kind of, there's too much emotion involved on your part, or you're coming on too strong. Um, the, give this person a little bit of space and a little bit of time because in time they will come to the conclusion that you are somebody they do want to be with. They want to experience love, uh, passion, and, you know, friendship, okay? And the lovers will come soon enough. That is in the cards. I mean, these two popped up together, Pisces, and that is just, that's like an emphasis. Like, yes, this is going to happen. Yes, this you have the, this is the potential for this relationship. This is where it's heading. You also have the Knight of Pentacles as your over, underlying, excuse me, underlying energy. And that means that this person wants to approach you. They want stability because the, the, um, the pentacles is about stability, the knight. So this is the knight of air, arrogance, moving fast. Um, sometimes it's not exactly the most loving feeling too. Like when you're talking about knights as personalities. Um, but this knight here is about longevity, is about doing things correctly, about coming to make a real offer with good intentions, with uh, they, they wouldn't come to you. This night will not show up at your door unless they have true intentions of having some kind of a serious relationship with you. And that's what you got. This is what is underneath all of this. And this could be about your emotions. It could be about their emotions, or it could simply be about the whole, the energy of this whole relationship. Okay. Friendship, whatever it is stage that it's at right now. Okay, so it looks to me, Pisces, like September is going to be a very, very good month for you as far as um, your potential for love. It just, you know, it's just really clear to me that you need to maybe just take a step back and not uh, show like your emotions so much about or how you feel and maybe let them kind of take the reins and see you know their approach in this relationship how they want to do it and i can tell you right now if it's an air sign they are probably or could be a fire sign too that would feel this way even though this night both your 
messengers here are, you know, earth signs. And that's why I don't like using the signs so much when I see like certain cards. But, you know, it, so what's obvious here is that they want to have some control, okay? And they, don't, they do not seem to be as emotional as you are. And so that's why I feel like you need to respect that boundary a little bit. But I do agree with the um, angel romance that, or the romance angels, that you, you know, you need to decide what you want. And if this is truly something that you want, then maybe you need to just back off just a little bit and let it come to you, as the card said, okay? So Pisces, I see love in your future. Now, I'm saying for the end of September or the rest of September, this could happen in October. Time is not, you know, concrete. It's not written in stone. So this is just an idea of things that could be coming up or be in the works in the rest of the September. Okay, Pisces. So I feel love's in the air and it's coming your way. Thank you for watching my channel. Please give my, um, my video a like and a subscribe if you like. I would appreciate that. Thank you. Bye-bye.